During the second year of Hejra, which occurred in 623 AD, the Battle of Badr took place and marked a significant turning point in Islamic history in the Arabian Peninsula. The Muslims of Mecca, led by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had faced severe persecution at the hands of the Quraysh, led by Abu Sufyan ibn Harab, for a period of 13 years. To escape this persecution, they took refuge with the Ansar of Medina, who had pledged to protect the Muslims and allow them to practice their religion in peace. After roughly two years, the Messenger of Allah learned that Abu Sufyan was heading back to Mecca from Syria with a large caravan belonging to the Quraysh. Upon hearing this news, the Messenger of Allah dispatched a small group of men to reclaim what had been taken from them. Abu Sufyan, on the other hand, received word that the Messenger of Allah realized that he was being pursued, he sent a request for help to the Quraysh in Mecca, asking for their protection against the Muslims. The people of Mecca received the message and believed it was a serious threat, so they gathered an army to eliminate the Muslims once and for all. When the Messenger of Allah learned that the Quraysh, led by Abu Jahl, were on their way to stop the Muslims, he sought advice from his companions. Sa'd ibn Mu'ad reassured him, saying that they believed in him and his teachings and would follow his lead no matter what. Mikdad ibn al-Kindi also spoke up, telling the Messenger of Allah that they would not abandon him like the people of Moses had done to Moses. Go ahead, with you and your Lord, and engage in the battle. We will wait here and fight from all directions, from your right, left, front and back. With these words, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, quickly set out with his 313 followers, who had only two horses and 70 camels. On the other hand, the polytheistic army from Mecca consisted of over a thousand men, 100 horses, and 170 camels. The Prophet, peace be upon him, assigned the banners to Musab ibn Amr, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and Sa'd ibn Muhammad, respectively, for the Muhajirun and the Ansar. The Muslim army reached the battlefield first and dug wells to provide water, and heavy rain from Allah prevented the enemies from advancing, which was a mercy for the Muslims. When both armies faced each other, the battle at the location of Badr started with a customary Arab tradition where warriors from each side were nominated to fight each other. Ataba ibn Rabia, his son al-Walid, and his brother Sheba, all members of the Umayyad family, came forward and asked the Prophet to send his equally strong and capable men to fight them. The Prophet chose his son-in-law Ali, his uncle Hamza, and his close companion obeyed the raven. The first two proved superior over their opponents, while the last one died in the battle. The Prophet took a handful of soil and threw it towards the faces of the polytheists, causing them to tremble with fear. This filled the hearts of the Muslims with faith, and they fought with renewed vigor. In the Battle of Badr, the powerful Muslim army killed 70 Meccans and captured 70 others. The prisoners were treated with kindness and respect. The battle also highlighted the exceptional fighting skills of Ali ibn Abi Talib, who alone killed 22 Meccans, whereas the rest of the Muslims combined killed 27. When the Muslims emerged victorious and the idol worshippers were defeated, the Messenger of Allah expressed gratitude to Allah for keeping his promise and helping his slave, and for defeating the enemy alone. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment below with suggestions for future videos.